Well, hello again, fellow RC enthusiasts. It's your host, Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, and today we're gonna talk about the Spectrum ESC Programmer Box. So this is the Smart ESC Programmer Box. We use it for our Avian and Fermaline ESCs, and you use it to program the ESC, but in some cases, if you get this dreaded message, so if you plug in your Programmer Box into your ESC port and you get this message, unfortunately, that means you need to update it. But do not fret, it's an easy process, and I'm gonna walk you through it. The things you're gonna need, of course, is the programming box. You're gonna need a programming cable, and you're gonna need a computer, like our laptop that I have here. You're also gonna need to download the Spectrum Smart Link programmer app, which I'll walk you through on how to do that as well. And I'll have some helpful links in the description below for you to be able to easily navigate to this programmer and to download it and to update your programmer box. So let's get started. So like I said, you need to plug in your USB cable here and then into your programmer box on the side. Now this is the V2 and you can obviously see that it says V2 on here. The same process applies for the V1 programmer boxes. Really the V2 programmer box is for our censored ESCs. So like the Firma censored ESCs, you will want the V2 programmer box. It's the only box that we sell right now. So if you need one, you're gonna get this, but in some cases you will need to update it. The update's exactly the same. So we're gonna jump down to the computer and find out where the updater is at. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to open up a web browser of some sort. I like to use Google. And my best suggestion would be to search for the programmer box itself. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can look up Spectrum Smart Link Programmer app, but you do wanna make sure that you've got the latest version. So the latest version, at least at the time of this video, is version 1.09. And let's go ahead and look it up, like I said. So we're gonna look up the programmer box, which is SPM XCA 200, like we're looking up here. And we're gonna search it. And we're just gonna to go to the top uh, search history or uh, the top thing, uh, the top search result. And we're gonna go down to PC download, or you can go to manuals and support. Either one's fine, it's up to you. And we're gonna click on PC download. And this is gonna bring up our PDF instructions. And this instructions really just goes through the instructions on how to update your ESCs because this is the same program for updating your ESCs. Super simple there. And you're gonna wanna download the latest. So if you go to this link, and again, I'm gonna have the, a link to this in the description below so it's easy for you to find if you need to. You're gonna go to this first line, number one, download the latest Spectrum Smart Link updater app here. You're gonna tap on that or click on it, and it's gonna download it normally in the bottom left-hand corner, or if you're using Firefox, you may get an, a notification up in the top right. Once it's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and open it, and we're going to extract it. That's the first thing you need to do is extract the file. So up normally at the top, you're gonna have something that says to extract all. You may need to hit compressed folder tools. Just know that you need to extract the zip file to a full folder so it's not compressed. We're, all right, we're extracting it by hitting extract. It's gonna give it a second. And normally right when it's done with this, you're gonna get a folder just automatically is gonna get pop up on your screen. We're gonna go into it, and you're looking for this icon here. Let's make the icons a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. We're looking for the Spectrum USB link right here. You can double tap at that or click it to open it. And normally Windows is gonna say, hey, we're gonna protect your PC. Uh, that's a certificate that has not been signed for this. Just go ahead and tap on more info and click run anyway. We're gonna tap yes. So now that you're at this point, you should see that your programmer box says connecting PC there once it's plugged in via the USB cable and you have the window open with the programmer. And again, it needs to be the Spectrum USB link version 1.09 or higher at the time of this video, it could be higher. Just make sure you're at that point. You're not at point eight or point seven or anything like that. 
They can kind of still be found on the internet. If you just search for Spectrum USB updater or something like that, you might find it. So hopefully you're seeing this video and you understand that. And we're gonna go to this top bar, the one that says devices with a D, all right? Not file, not demo mode, but you're gonna tap on or click on devices. And you're gonna select LCD program box there. Give it a second and it's gonna display the firmware upgrade option for your programmer box. And then here we'll see available versions that we can update to, and then the current firmware version that is on the programmer box. Mine's already up to date, but if yours wasn't up to date, it would be a different number for firmware version there. Mine's already up to date, but if yours isn't, yours would say firmware version and it would have a different number. Also, if you're using the V1 programmer box, the older programmer box, this is gonna be a completely different number altogether. Just know that th the latest version is gonna be giving you the latest update for your programmer box. And really, you only need to update your programmer box if you plug it into an ESC and it says that you need to update it. And this is what we're doing. So you're gonna see PB 1.0 or something like that. Just the, the available version here is gonna be, if it's higher, go ahead and upgrade it. And we're gonna tap on upgrade. And it's gonna go through an update process. You'll get this loading bar. It's gonna take yeah, a good two or three minutes to get through. Just let it complete. Don't unplug the programmer box and you should be good to go. Okay, and once you see upgrade operation finished successfully, go ahead and tap okay and you're good to go. Your ESC programmer box is now completely up to date and you can use it with your snazzy new Spectrum Smart ESC. And there you have it. That's how you update your Spectrum Smart ESC programmer box so you can use it with your latest and greatest Smart ESCs. Again, this is gonna work for the V1 and the V2 Smart Programmer Box. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below. If you have any suggestions or how-to videos that you would like to see me cover, again, leave those in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and happy smarting out there, guys.